In a place as busy as Lower Broadway, a relatively recent way to cross the street has taken hold. Crosswalks, where all the lights turn red, letting people walking go any way they'd like, even diagonally. Yeah, definitely like it, like being able to, to go across rather than just having to do the double. Like the idea of the diagonal cross and being able to do that. One necessary feature of that type of crossing, at least for cars, is no right turns on red. And an action plan dealing with getting around downtown called Connect Downtown suggests limiting or even eliminating turning right on red lights at intersections where there are the most people walking around. And yes, those walking around seem for it. We got to have safety. I mean, you know, you got people drinking everywhere and partying and carrying on. You got to keep them safe. For downtown Nashville, where, the, where there's as many um, pedestrians as, as drivers, probably not a bad idea. But of course, for drivers, not being able to turn on red lights might up the time you're spending behind the wheel. As drivers, you got expected, and I would imagine most drivers other than workers in this area are avoiding this part of town for a commute anyway, so really shouldn't be that big an issue. The right on red restrictions are just one suggestion in the 73-page action plan. Other suggestions include turning 2nd Avenue into a two-way street and 3rd and 4th Avenues into one ways. All as voters may soon weigh a larger proposal about transit as the city continues to grow. You gotta keep people safe. That's the main thing, keep people safe. Jason Lamb, News Channel 5.